Hey guys, Julie here and welcome to my channel. Today, we are doing it. We are going to start fall DIYing. I know there are people, plenty of people already on YouTube that have been doing fall DIYs, but I have a hard time getting into fall when it's so hot outside. I mean, it's in the 90s still where I live. So it's hard for me to get there. However, fall is my favorite and I am super excited to make some DIY projects so that when I am ready to decorate, I have everything already made. So today I am going to be taking part in a challenge hosted by Heidi Sambo from Happily Thriving Heidi and Maria from Artsy Cupcake. The challenge is to take some Dollar Tree florals, which I have stocked up on plenty of them, and make a DIY project with them. So stay tuned if you want to see what I do with my Dollar Tree fall florals. For this project, I'm going to use this Dollar Tree sign that I found, but you can use any sign that the Dollar Tree has. I'm going to use a few of the florals, including the leaves and this fall pick, also from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need some paint brushes, some stain, couple different colors. I'm using black and gray of the chalk paint and this craft paint bronze color. Some markers, preferably a black sharpie and a white chalk marker. And I'm going to be using these stencils. And I'm thinking about using a scarf from the Dollar Tree. Oh, and a hot glue gun as well. So to begin, I'm going to remove the sticker right here that's on the back of the picture. I'm also going to remove the hanging device, which is like twine. And then I also wanted to remove the paper that was on the front side, but that did not turn out so well. At the very least, I, want, I needed to get the shell off. I decided to get it a little bit wet, and it did take off a lot more of the paper, but I just couldn't get it all off, which ended up being no big deal. Now I'm just going to use some painter's tape to mark off where I want my first section, which is going to be the stain portion. And I just eyeballed it. It wasn't perfect. I just kind of wanted it to look as straight as possible. Once that stain section was dry, I taped off the bottom of the stain, sec stain section and another section to make a line, and I'm just going to paint this bronze color on there, and it did take two coats. Next, I tape off the top line of the stain section, and I'm going to paint the entire upper portion with the black chalk paint. And then you'll also see that I also make a section at the bottom for the black chalk paint as well. The last painted section I'm going to paint gray. This is at the bottom of the bronze section and the top of the chalk from the bottom section. I'm sure that visually you see exactly what I'm talking about. It's harder to explain. But I did do two coats also of this gray paint.
step was to add a fall saying. I ended up just using Hello Pumpkin and I freehanded the hello and then used the stencil for the pumpkin and I'm just using a ch white chalk marker and a black Sharpie marker. I decided to use this scarf from the Dollar Tree as my new hanger for the sign. So I made a little needle out of some of the blue tape and fed it through the hole. It did take a little bit of twisting, but I ended up getting it through. Or the leaves and the little berries that I wanted to use for my sign. I wasn't really feeling the yellow leaves and I didn't actually like the brightness of the red. I was looking for more muted tones, so I used this bronze craft paint to paint over the yellow leaves and then I just lightly brushed it over the red just to kind of dull the color and give it a little bit of the shimmer from the bronze. I did the same thing with the little beaded berries. Final step was to add the different florals that I bought from the Dollar Tree. I decided to just use these two leaves that I did paint. This floral pick, which I bent the stem down, and that's what I'm going to use to glue it on and attach it. And I did just play with the, the leaves a little bit to make sure that they were all going in the direction I wanted. Originally my plan was to add some more florals to cover the stem of this flower, or the pick, but I decided to go into my Dollar, store, Dollar Tree store stash and pick out these pumpkins. This one was originally a clip, I just pulled the clip off and snapped, snipped the bottom and glued it on. And then I decided to paint this other little one with the bronze paint.
here's the final product, guys. I am loving how this turned out. It was super simple to make. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And also, if you want to see more DIYs, make sure you check out this playlist. I have linked for you. All things fall. 